Hey everybody, welcome to Fortunate Creations. I'm Kim, and this is a channel where we talk about everything to do with crafting. So from amigurumi to weaving and anything in between, if you like crafting and being creative, stick around. I think you're gonna like it here. Happy Friday. I just realized that's in the way. There we go. So welcome to an episode of Coffee with Kim. I'm about to burn my mouth like I do every day because the first sip of every cup is way too hot. So happy Friday. Good morning, everybody. I have so much to tell you. You're not even going to believe it. So what do I do for, with a full day to myself? All right. So here's how things progressed. So as a lot of you know, I have been hired to be the new craft manager at the local fair. Okay. So I've been working really hard. She sent me over all the entries. There were 62 sections. And in each section, there was like a million subsections. Anyway, this, this sheet was confusing and whatever. So I took a spreadsheet and I made categories of types like wood, um, fabric or textile, glass, stuff like that. So a painting photography. So I made lines categories. So I took all of the stuff they had on this sheet that she sent me and I put it into my categories. I don't know that I've ever told you I have a thing with spreadsheets. I love them. They just get my, that organizes my thoughts. So if I'm ever trying to figure something out, there's going to be a spreadsheet. So I had gotten up at like two o'clock in the morning yesterday. I took a break to record coffee with Kim and then I was back at it. And something told me, send an email to the woman that hired me just to make sure I'm on the right track. You know what I mean? Because it's a new position. It's a new idea for them, blah, 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 blah. So I sent her an email saying, here are my thoughts. Here's what I'm doing. She wrote back, oh my goodness, I love all your thoughts but we're not looking to make that big of a change this year. So I put the brakes on. I'm like, okay. So they really only wanted me to just kind of take a look at it. I got rid of a couple after all this, I said, okay, so let's back it down a little bit. So I went and I wish this chair would, I don't even know how to do it. Back up a little bit. Is that it? Is that it? <laughs> if I flip over backwards, you guys will know. Well, that's a little better. So anyway, where was I? So I went through and got rid of two of the category, maybe, maybe three of the categories that were in there because she had highlighted who had never or who hadn't submitted something in that category for over the past couple seasons. So I got rid of those categories and then I added on um, an up cycle category. So if you take something and make something else, um, and then I also added a nature category. I mean, I had so much as I took the textile and we'll just go with knitting. Okay. So I took the knitting category <clears throat> and I broke it into wearable, non-wearable, toy, holiday. And then I took the knitting category and I made a separate one knitting machine assisted so that people who use the Addy could enter some of their stuff. So, um, I, I did all that. So after she told, Oh, sorry, I just kicked the camera. After she told me not to do that, I said, okay, I back it down. And I sent, so I sent that off. So that was the first part of my day. Now, I started thinking if I do talk to these kids, you know, if I do reach out to the 4-H and the summer camps and all that stuff, what can I show these kids to prove it's super simple? You can do it, right? So I had these packages of, I don't know what I went. I had these packages of photo paper, okay? I don't, I think they were like a quarter for a package of 24 at the, uh, 
the one um, thrift store I go to. And I had just had them here just stuck up. I'm like, well, I'll figure something to do with them. So I was like, what can I do to help these kids? So of course, you know, me and paint. So <laughs> I broke out my acrylics. And I was like, what can I do? You know, maybe these kids can't paint. Maybe these kids, you know, they like the color, but they can't paint. So I put a few blobs of paint on the paper and I mushed it together. And I started pulling out these. So I figure you can use these to make handmade greeting cards. So I did four or five in a set. So these are all orange, green, and yellow with a little bit of red. So I figure each set is a set of four or five. And they can be as simple as, you know, like this could be, <laughs> see how simple it is. So it started like this. And the last one I did ended like this. So it's a matter of, I can show the kids how you can take just a few blobs of paint and you can create really pretty things as simple as you want, or as, you know, this reminded me of balloons. This one here reminded me of fireworks. So I did this color. So then I'm like, all right, I need some inspiration. So I texted my friend, Lori, and um, I texted her and I said, all right, give me three colors and don't ask me why. <laughs> She's like, oh boy, because she never knows with me. You just never know what I'm about to pop up with. She goes, okay, pink, black, and gray. So the black threw me off a little bit. But, can you see that? There you go. Da, 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 da. So, those are some fun things. They can either write a message on the back, because I put the paint on the glossy side. So they could write a message on the back and use it as a postcard. Or they could... Um, attach it to another card and make it part of a greeting card. So I did some, they're still a little tacky, but these remind me of pansies, right? That could be an abstract painting of pansies. Here's something we could use for kids, for kids' birthday cards, birthday invitations, or a happy birthday card for a little kiddo. So I really had fun doing these. I really made a mess doing these. <laughs> I really made a mess. Um, but it's funny because I was showing Mr. Fortunate these last night and I set one of them down. He goes, oh, that looks like Elvis. I'm keeping that one. So he kept one. <laughs> ah, that's funny. So, um, yeah, I did all sorts of colors. You know, I did autumn even some very just simple, simple, basic ones, you know? So I have these in my, in my file now for when I want to make, um, scrapbook pages or here's one I forgot. <laughs> it's just such fun colors. So kind of pretty stuff. Super simple stuff was my point. That was my goal was to show the kids with just a few blobs of paint, you can make something really pretty. So it's almost like that one kind of looks like to me, the ocean just as the sun's already set. You know what I mean? That time, like, so here's the rock. And there's the waves still coming in. Here's the waves on the rock. There's a little bit of the sun there. So just kind of pretty. And um, I really enjoyed doing them. I did not enjoy cleaning up after it. 
but I did enjoy doing it. So once I was done with that, um, then I decided it was time to go outside because the rain had stopped. So I filled more potholes with rocks on our road. Those of you that listened to yesterday's, you know that um, I have crusher run is what they call it, which is a new term I learned while building this house. Um, so we have a lot of it. And in some spots, there's extra. So I shoveled it from there into the potholes on our dirt road. Not, a, I mean, not a mile of it. It was just like right in front of our house. So I did that. And then I raked out the gardens in the front. Happy news is that the lilac, the forsythia, and all of my roses are all starting to bud. So very exciting. Fritz was unconcerned, but <laughs> so I was, um, then I moved. Oop, I hit the count of the thing again. Jeez, I got to stop that. All right. So then I moved into the carport and I was going through my stuff. I have a section out there in the garage. That's all my crafting stuff as well. More gardening, more outside stuff. So I was looking through and I had a lot of um, leftover seeds, more vegetable seeds or, you know, and some of the other not as, not as well known flower seeds like cone flower. And um, I can't think of the other one, but anyway, so I had some pumpkin seeds, some jalapeno seeds, some basil, stuff like that. Just, and they were a couple years old and I'm not going to go through the effort of trying to plant them when they're a couple years old, because you're not sure if they're going to, you know, you're not sure if they're still viable. So I put Fritz in his little stroller because he had already had his walk and strolled him up the road. And I just went on both sides of it and just threw the seeds. Who knows? Now, I tried this last year or the year before with pumpkin seeds. And while I didn't actually get any pumpkins, I did get some flowers. So they did take and they did start. So we'll see. If anything, I mean, that's right along. I'm looking at it now because I can see the field. It's right along the road where the farmer fertilizes. So if anything, it's going to get a lot of fertilization. <laughs> So it should, I don't know, it should take off. Now, a couple of years ago, um, somebody had given me a box of mixed wildflower seeds. And I don't have the spot around here really to put them. Huh, I thought something was on my shirt. It's the arrow from the mouse. So I don't have the area. So I did the same thing. I went up the long part of the road and I just threw the seeds. I was on my four-wheeler holding it nice and slow, putt-putting, and just throwing the seeds. And that year we had beautiful, uh, they're called fake sunflower seeds or fake sunflowers. They're little and they're just, they look like a sunflower, but they're really not. So it's almost like a big yellow daisy. So that was fun. I did that yesterday. My neighbor drives by <laughs> and she's like, why are you playing in the mud? I'm like, what? She goes, yeah, I know. It's you. Uh, see, you're welcome. Gives you something to talk about, I guess. So I did that. I straightened the front walk because um, the way it is are it's hard to explain. But anyway, when people plow the driveway, they just push and it goes right across like our front area. And I had a walkway with those thick rubber pads and it got all jumbled and mushed up. So I, um, I straightened those out and right about then was when my back said, Hey, we're done. So I said, okay, I'm finished for the day. And I made my way back in here. So then now let's talk about my knitting. Um, I finished and I said to you, I wasn't going to finish until, um, I could wear it. So hang on. True to my word, <laughs> it's terrible, but true to my word, hold on. We're going to mess the hair up. 
which is fine. Okay, here we go. I even sewed it together. Ugh, oh my goodness. Here we go. There it is. Okay. So there it is. I can wear it. So that happened. It's not pretty by any means. <laughs> so then I was like, all right, now, I don't know what my obsession is with fingerless gloves, but I wanted to do something with the rest of the yarn. I had um, another skein of it, um, not a full one, but I had another skein, probably three quarters. So I got my Addy out because it's knit. I wanted knit. And of course I made these, which are so fun. I know it's the wrong season, but man, look at the little nubbies I did. <laughs> Full disclosure, they were not planned, but I love them. So now that I know, now that I have a process on how exactly to make these, I'm going to make a ton of them for the later in the year um, sales and events that I go to. All right, so this this happened. But with the rest of the yarn, so I have, I made the hat on the Addy and I also made it so it's complementary colors that you can flip up. But if you just put it on, <laughs> there we go. So that was my evening. I really, really love these gloves because I don't like regular gloves, but when I'm out walking Fritz in the colder weather, this part of my hand gets really cold. So that happened and I do like them. Um, I may actually even do a tutorial on how to make these because they're so easy and they're so nice. Um, they're actually made with the small, I think it's 22. Yeah. The 22 needle Addy. So that, and this one I used, um, the bigger Addy. So there's that set. And I guess this could be, hold on instead. Let's put the whole set on. Watch this. This could be. A nice cowl, right? With the hat. Oh my goodness, look at me. Cut it out. Stop it right this minute. Here we go. Well, there it is. Ta da. So now I have a nice little cowl, my first ever real knit. And then I have a whole set to go with it. And if I wanted it to be different, it could be like that. <laughs> Just a little flip up on it. How's that? Oh my goodness. I can't even take it. Stop it. And there we go. <laughs> so that was my evening yesterday. And that took me actually, I missed Jeopardy. So it took me until eight o'clock. So there goes my hair. Good thing I brushed it for everybody. So yeah, um, I did it. I mean, I ended up actually, I didn't hide my tail, but I ended up using my crochet needle to sew it up. But anyway, so that all happened. And it was fun. So that was a fun day. That was my whole day. I'm exhausted. So today being Friday, um, there's a store in town that's kind of like an auction store or a, a lot store where they buy things from stores that either the packaging is wrong or somebody was cutting open the pallet and they cut the box, but not the actual inside stuff like that. So I'm going to check over there. I tend to get some of my, um, potting soil there because apparently a lot of people cut pallets open and they split it. So 
I get like a, and it's the good stuff. It's the miracle grow. It's the good stuff. So I'll get like a $25 bag for eight bucks. And I think it's time to plant my seeds. I might be a little early, but my greenhouse is ready. If it's going down too low at night, sorry, I got something in my eye. If it's going down too low at night, I'll just put a little heater in there. So I think I'm ready. I think today might be getting the soil, getting it ready. And then over the weekend, I will be putting my babies out in the greenhouse. That'll be my first true test of this greenhouse I built. So I'm excited. So that's my day for, oh, and I have to get in the basement because I'm starting, I don't know what's on my, oh, there it is. Okay. I have a cat that has this hair that's almost like cotton balls. And once it gets in your eye, it's going to poke you until you're done. So anyway, I have to get in the basement to get some more stuff for the flea market that I'm in in a couple of weeks. Why not? If it's down there and, you know, it hasn't been used in two years. Get it, get it, get it. Try to make some money from it, you know, and a lot of it is still some stuff from my mom's. Um, and a lot of it is like a collection that I all of a sudden looked around and I'm like, whoa, I have way too many. Keep the good, it was it, my bird statues. Keep the important ones, keep the, you know, and then try to sell off the rest of them. Because where am I going to put them? I don't have room in this house to, to just have collections of stuff. That doesn't count. <laughs> that's not a collection. That's a stash. There's a difference. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. Well, speaking of how much stuff I have to get doing. I better get to it, right? So <laughs> I, uh, it's funny because I just, just got a notification pop up that somebody new just tried one of my um, tutorials, the one that should be your first tutorial ever. She just tried it. So that's cool. Anyway. All right. So let's get the Friday going. Remember tomorrow morning is live at 9 a.m. Grab a cup of coffee and join me then. Um, we have hit a thousand and thirty subscribers. It's very exciting. And I only need 300 view hours to become a full channel. So that's also very exciting. So hopefully 300 hours, Alexa, how many days is 300 hours? 300 hours is 12 days and 12 hours. So if worse comes to worse in two weeks, I'll... <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, anyway, remember everybody, I do appreciate you. I thank you so much for spending your time with me, for having a cup of coffee with me and starting your day. Um, as always, be safe, be kind, and be creative. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye guys.